Brady Roberts has got his PWA Cruiserweight title match. I am joined by the PWA champion, Michael Avery, and this one is going to be a dandy. Absolutely, the rivalry between Brady Roberts and Scotty Putty has hit a fever pitch, and now throwing Danny Manners into the mix as the special guest referee. He's been told to call it down the middle, but you know how much he has it in for Brady Roberts. How long is that gonna stick? Yeah, this is going to be interesting to say the least, as is Danny Manners' tie on his referee shirt. Oh, oh look at that, Brady Roberts getting a pump during the match. That's an athlete right there, Pete. You Lewis. are correct. Putty able to float over into the side headlock. A little bit biased by Danny Manners. I think Brady Roberts already kicked up before that one came in. Like I said, Danny Manners, he might not overly screw Brady Roberts, but he might get in his little uh, hits here and there that you can chalk up to just rookie mistakes or something like that. There could be a subtle bias. Again by referee Danny Manners. Yeah, right now we are looking at some of the best talent the PWA has to offer. These guys are young, they're hungry, and they are incredibly talented. You are absolutely correct. Look at this right here. Manners and Brady starting to get each other's faces right now. And you know when the goal is on the line, both men are going to bring their A game. Starting to get on Brady. It's definitely a pro putty, pro manners crowd. A packed house here at the Nate Gymnasium for the PWA 7th anniversary show. Collar and elbow tie up. Hammer lock taken by Brady Roberts right in the center of the ring. Nice counter there by Scotty Putty. These guys, they know each other so well. The polite police, once again, back in the ring. This time, of course, the situation much different than when they were, of course, Mayhem champions, and then later, Cruiserweight champions, when Danny Manners defeated uh, Marky Hart, and vice versa. He pulled my shoe lace with that Not sure if any ganders were involved. Again, Brady Roberts jawing with Danny Manners. He needs to focus on his opponent, not the referee in this matchup. You know, I might wonder if that uh, might not be strategy on Brady's part, actually. Try to get in the head of the referee, maybe Absolutely. not a bad decision. Both men looking pretty tentative to start off this match. Well, you know, like I said, these guys know each other so well. This isn't their first time training against each other. Oh, nice play by Scotty Putty there. Taking Brady Roberts off his feet. These guys know if they make a mistake, the other guy can take a big advantage or even worse, take the whole match. Hard back elbow by Scott Putty. Staying on his opponent. Irish whip. Reversed by Brady Roberts. Looks like he's going for the backbreaker with the head scissors by Putty. Takes Roberts over. Beautiful counter by Putty. Lots of athleticism in the hangman right there. Takes Brady Roberts off his feet yet again. Throat draped right across that top rope. Putty on the ring apron. I don't know what he was going for, but he ate two feet of Brady Roberts and down to that floor hard. That's a smart Brady Roberts brings to the table. He saw Scotty Putty, probably gonna go for one of his patented flying maneuvers. Cut him off right in the pass and look at Putty now. He's in a bad way. Roberts heading out to the floor to stay on his man. Boots right to that rib cage. Three. Nice count going there by Danny Manners, one of the best of Oh, God! Ribs first right into that solid steel ring post. Innovative maneuver by Brady Roberts. You could really crack a rib on a move like that. If you can't breathe, I got to agree with him. That was awesome. If you can't breathe, you cannot beat Brady Roberts. If he says it's awesome, who am I to argue? Horace. That is true. Danny Manners perhaps being a little uh, a little light with the count. He could have counted both of these men out by now. But he's taking it pretty slow. I think he wants to see a winner in this match as bad as all the rest of us do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Danny Manners, he wants to give Scotty Buddy a chance to beat Brady Roberts. I think that's what he's secretly gunning for. He can't let that show, though, because Kurt Sorok thinks he's not going it straight down the middle. He will not get a title show. Hard knee right into the midsection. Looks like he's working over the ribs. Trying to take the air out of the lungs. I'll tell you, 
I, can, about putty. I can't help but be impressed with how accomplished Brady Roberts has become over this past year. Here's a guy that started out when he was I don't know, 15, 16 years old, and look at what he's developed into now. He went down to California and Mexico, home his craft in the LA Dojo, and now look, he's got a whole bunch of new tricks in his sleeves, and he's got that aggressive streak that's made him a force to be reckoned with. Not even 20 years old yet is Brady Roberts. He has a great future in this business, as does Scott Putty. Absolutely. Scott Young Putty. stars of the PWA, probably the rookie of the year for the PWA. Had a great breakout campaign, won the Cruiser Ray title several times. Also the main champion. Well, he's the champion right now, but he's also in a bit of a hard way. Speaking of young stars, yourself, Michael Avery, young star, PWA champion, taking on one of the PWA mainstays of the seven years that we have been in operation. Hot shot, Johnny Devine in our main event tonight. What are your thoughts on that contest? Well, you know, it's, I don't want to speak too much about myself when this match is going on, but let me tell you this. Johnny Devine, hello. Off the back of referee Danny Manners, double stop right into the chest. Manners is not a fan of that. And Brady Roberts certainly is. To get back on track real quickly, Johnny Devine was the guy that made me a fan of the PWA, that made me a fan of Stampede Wrestling. And if, to be truthfully honest, without a Johnny Devine, there 